In this one we're going to have a look at the interface which we are injecting into the apply method of the lowest price filter. So there's a couple of considerations. We want to make sure that we are adhering to the solid principle of interface segregation. And we also want to take care of these assumptions that we are, we are making to say that a get product method will be available, a get quantity method will be available, set price, etc. Because if we look at it at the moment, it actually has none of those methods. So something that which we definitely need to take care of. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience. And if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon, and welcome. We have a test which sits underneath this so we can make our changes and just keep running the tests as we go along. So if I run lowest price filter test at the moment, we're getting one test, three assertions. Let's go and start making those changes. So like I've discussed earlier, we want to make something a little bit more specific than this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another interface which I'll call price inquiry interface which will just be specifically for inquiries relating to price. But this is a promotions engine, so uh, all of our inquiry interfaces will extend the promotion inquiry interface. So let's do that also. And so there, nothing should have changed. Our test should still be passing because it doesn't have any effect, we've not injected it anywhere. But what we need to do now is actually go and make that change. So here we're going to say, instead of promotion inquiry interface, we're gonna change this to price inquiry interface. And now we'll get some uh, squiggly red line under there because our apply method here no longer um, adheres to what was specified in the promotions filter interface, which is expecting a promotion inquiry interface. So what I'm gonna do here is do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna create something a little bit more specific. So I'll say price filter interface, which will extend promotions filter interface. And then what I'm gonna do is just go and chop that method from there. So this uh, interface is now empty. Drop that into there. I'm just going to change the promotion filter interface for or promotion inquiry interface for price inquiry interface. And then if I go back to my lowest price filter, we've got some underlining here because we still haven't made the change to implement that with our lowest price inquiry. So let's go and do that now. So lowest price inquiry now implements price inquiry interface. So now I think we can actually run the test and make sure that everything is still working. So I've ended up in PHP unit tests, unit lowest price filter test, run that. And so we have one test, three assertions. I'm gonna go back to the lowest price filter. There's a change which I want to make here. So we're no longer implementing promotions filter interface. It's gonna be price filter interface. Again, I'm gonna run the tests. One test, three assertions. Okay, great, nothing has broken there. So we're on the right track. We can now go and start working on our price inquiry interface and making sure that it has the methods that we're expecting here. So first off, we'll do the ones relating to price. So we have a set price here. Quantity, that's sort of related to price because the only way we've used it is to multiply it by price to get total price. And then we have this set discounted price here. So over in price inquiry interface, create public function, set price. So that will take an integer and a price. Okay, now let's move on to the next one, which was set discounted price. Okay, and then the next one we were looking at was get quantity. And so this can be null or it can be an integer. And the tests are still passing for that. So let's go back to the lowest price filter. And the ones at which I didn't add were get product, 
set promotion ID and set promotion name. So thinking of our interface segregation here, we won't want all this stuff relating to price on the promotion inquiry interface. If we go and look at that one, you probably wouldn't want uh, methods relating to price and quantity on this. However, the stuff which is actually related to promotions and promotion uh, ID and also product, because of product uh, promotions all relate to a product, then I think those methods can actually go on the promotion inquiry interface. So I'll say get product, and this can return null or a product object. And then it was set promotion ID, which will be an integer, and set promotion name, which will be a string. Okay, we've made a few changes there. Let's go and run the tests. Still got one test at three assertions. And so if you look at the work that we've done there in splitting our interfaces, it fits nicely into the interface segregation principle, which says that clients should not depend upon interfaces which they do not use. Because if we created just one big interface, but uh, our filter was one which had um, no dealings with price and didn't need to know anything about prices, then it would have been there would have been quite a lot of redundancy in there because we would have had methods which the inquiry object would need to implement but would not actually use. The goal of interface segregation is to reduce the side effects and the frequency of changes required by splitting your software down into multiple parts. That's something which we've just done there. It makes our software a lot more flexible and it means that should we make changes in the future, it should be a lot easier than if we just created one large interface. So you may have looked at that workflow there and thought it's a little bit back to front because in most cases what you would do is you would create the interface and then write the classes which actually implement that interface. But sometimes if I'm working on something from scratch, brand new application, what I'll do is I'll start with a very generic interface and just see where things go. And as you saw there, we've ended up at something which is abstract and reusable, yet which fits our case quite nicely.